Hey skiers, it's Bob with SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2023 ski test. We got a Scott Speed Guide 95 for you today, and this is a great, uh, a great option for skiers who kind of split it up between resort skiing and touring. I would say these fall more on the touring end of the spectrum, but I wouldn't want to discount someone uh, from saying they just wanted to use these in the resort as a lighter option in that mid-90s underfoot waist width. You know, marketing might tell you different, that they are ideally suited for uh, uphill skiing and backcountry adventures, but I think that that would preclude uh, some people from wanting to get this ski and it might be a great choice for them. Uh, definitely falls into that more hybrid style category that we've seen a lot of these days. Uh, you know, Blizzard Hustle and Nordica Enforcer Unlimited, uh, kind of taking what they've already had and making it lighter. Uh, this Speed Guide 95 is a fantastic choice. Uh, we are built with a blend of lightweight Polonia and then a little bit denser beech wood, uh, but that, that Polonia certainly brings the weight down to a minimum while the beach does provide uh, some stability and power uh, for more aggressive skiing or anytime you get in something a bit more technical. I mean, these are some high performance skis for sure. So there does have to be uh, some strength to them to hold up to, you know, pretty rigorous and aggressive skiing. We also see a blend of carbon, of carbon and aramid fibers in this ski. Uh, you know, carbon nice and light and stiff. Aramid is very, very strong. Uh, that's what's used in Kevlar. So we're seeing these high tech materials put into this ski as well. Does make for a fairly stiff flex uh, to go along with that light weight. Uh, you know, and that's what we see with a lot of these touring skis for sure. Uh, let's get this on the scale. This is the 178. Uh, we're at 1,505 grams. So we're right at that 1,500 gram threshold, making for supreme uphill efficiency. Uh, while having those extra technologies in there that do lead to strong downhill performance. Nice longer turn radius in this ski as well, 21 meters here in the 178. Uh, I really think that's handy, both from a touring perspective as well as uh, more of a downhill, downhill way as well. Uh, so the less side cut you have in the ski, the straighter it's going to track uh, from a skinning perspective. And then when you get to the top, you know, your skiers are able to put more of their own mark, their own creativity into the turn shape and style. Uh, you're not going to be hooked into a turn, uh, especially since the idea is to get up there in some fresh snow. Uh, when you're in that fresher snow, that longer turn radius is, is just more fun. Uh, so it just allows you to put your own creativity into it. Do get a little bit of a half cap construction on this ski, especially underfoot. Just kind of going to make it a little bit more agile. Uh, without taking away any of the performance, but pretty straight uh, sidewall going throughout uh, just with more material hiding under that cap underfoot. So pretty <clears throat> interesting way of building a ski. And then we're seeing, I would call it width appropriate taper and rocker, nice camber underfoot. Anytime you're getting into sketchy situations or more technical terrain, it's nice to have that edge grip under there due to the camber. Uh, and then we have that tip tip rocker for flotation. Uh, nothing crazy, you know, we've noticed that a lot of these mid-90s Scott skis uh, don't go nuts with the rocker profile. You know, it's not very low. Uh, part of that is due to the touring nature of the ski. You wanna have more of it on the snow for better skin uh, grip, um, but does have this more dramatic splay towards the tip. Uh, you know, it's basically like a longer tip with more abrupt shape at the end. And then not a lot of taper because of that straight cut. So it's gonna go through the snow pretty, pretty well. Uh, same thing with the taper in the tail, not a whole lot going on back here. And then just a minor, minor uh, tail splay going on here. Really no, rock, really no rocker, I mean, it starts about here. So really only about uh, eight to 10 centimeters towards the back of the tail is where we see the splay. Uh, that's gonna just keep you up out of the snow a little bit, keep you from hooking those tails. Uh, but definitely has a longer effective edge for better and smoother uh, grip and control. But awesome choice for that touring skier who wants to do it all out there. I think 95 is a great place to be for most snow zones. Uh, certainly you can go wider for deeper snow, narrower for faster climbing. If you want one width to do it all, I think 95 is a place to be. So make sure you check out these Scott Speed Guide 95s here at SkiEssentials.com, and we will see you out there on the hill. Bye.